I was there. <laughs> I hear. Dreamland. Okay, okay. We're in there. Bobby found his way back. We're gonna start on Dreamland. Tons of pressure there, but Bobby finds his way out with a full hop. Yeah, Bobby had such a good dash dance all the way in the corner, and uh, Ben actually calling it out, going all the way into the corner, chasing him down with the tilts. All the ledge dash up tilt is fully invincible, and just punishes Bobby for execution testing him. But Bobby still managed to keep up the pressure through that. Great needle there by Ben to throw off Bobby's edge guard. I, I do think that had a, a big impact on Ben being able to find his way back to ledge at least. Bobby maintains the pressure though on the other side of the stage and he's able to close it out. Good stuff. Yep. I love that Bobby's still doing the PC drops. Uh, like, uh, it's one of the fastest ways to get there pretty much and, and no chance of killing yourself or anything. And he always kind of tricks his opponent because when you're just walking forward, it almost doesn't look like you're about to grab a ledge. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ben, he gets an up air but isn't able to find the big combo, but he picks it right back up. Bobby somehow spot dodges through that down smash, but then he gets reversed and fared into the stage and stage spiked. Three stocks apiece. Yeah, sick awareness from Ben there to realize that the, the strong back air is not going to combo anything. It puts him in a really awkward spot off stage, and most people just get followed up on. Uh, but Ben realizing that he had time to throw, sneak in a forward air of his own, and uh, Bobby's the one who didn't have the awareness to realize, oh, maybe I should tech here, right? Like, it, it really looked like he was the one in control, so <laughs> he does answer back and maintain his one stock lead, but Ben's making him work for it. All right, Bobby trying to dash dance in the corner there, but Ben's able to place his back air properly to cover that dash dance. Ooh, great Nana ben. Shield there, but doesn't get too much out of it. That's kind of a, the trap. Nana Shield feels like... Um, it, Invincible? Like, unstoppable? Yeah, it's like hard to make work at low levels because Falco's shield pressure is like uh, just hard to time around. And then eventually it feels really oppressive as it just kind of stuffs every option. And then eventually it, you start to feel the, the lack of like zero to death conversion potential off of it. Uh, at top level where like every hit that Bobby gets is, is hitting like a truck right now. So sometimes he gets near to shield and then the next hit hits like a truck and you're like, oh geez, was it really worth it, right? So. <laughs> Ooh, great roll there by Bobby to get out of that grab. He finds the shine out of shield oh! and closes it out with the clean F smash. Two stocks to one. Yeah, it almost looked like he messed up his jump drift because he's like, oh darn, I can't get the follow-up now. I can't back air him. So instead, I'm just going to throw out this laser forward smash, which is much better in higher payoffs. So. <laughs> And you know, finding something more. and uh, But Ben just answers right back immediately. Now we have a tied game last time. All right. Bobby gets the wave dash back shine, punishing that missed grab. Oh, oh my Ooh. God. Those two grabs are terrifying. But Bobby managed to avoid. Oh, the down air. Good. Maybe a DI mix up. Uh, kind of looking to avoid any sort of combo extensions. Maybe like a soft nair or like a forward air or something. Bobby just throws out the down air and outright kills him for DIing away, so brutal. That's uh, quite the brutal ending to a game one. I imagine that after having such a close nail biter all the way to the last stock situation to have your stock just deleted like that. Gotta feel bad. But Ben, he perseveres every time. It's true, right? Like, I feel like against other players, even other really good players, uh, you lose a, a game one like that, and you might be thinking, like, oh, man, this is going to be hard to come back from. But against against Ben, I feel like you can never uh, you can never chill, you know? True. He's just waiting for his opponents to chill. That's always... He's, he's prowling, you know? Exactly. So he has been counterpicking Battlefield um, versus the Foxes. See if that's the counter pick of choice versus the Falco as well. We shall see. Bobby did look really hot there that game one. I think he he played it out really well. He got a lot of the big mix-ups he was looking for. Um, I think my concern for him is that Ben generally shows really good adaptation throughout a, a game or throughout a set. And like it didn't feel like Bobby was winning both sides of mix-ups. It felt like for the most part he was winning one side of, of different mix-ups. So if Ben can start to get a read on that, uh, this could be a really tough set. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, the story with, with Bobby versus Sheik's has, 
it always feels like he eventually manages to brute force his way in. Uh, he kind of tends to just outpunish them. Um, I think Sheik's punish game is in this matchup is just like so difficult until the very very top level for like the three Sheiks in the world who can reaction tech chase you to death, you know. <laughs> um, and otherwise, like everyone else, Bobby just kind of like gets these massive combos and even sometimes mix up deficits like that. Oh, like that stock or, or, or that uh, this game started out looking kind of bad for Bobby and then one combo and suddenly like wait is Bobby gonna take the first stock? He doesn't end up doing it, but definitely like that fear was put into Ben's heart right there. So. Yeah, absolutely. The threat there off that minor reversal felt really, really tough for Ben. He does weather the storm. We, we sort of talked about how that's like kind of his thing. Um, so I, I feel like he just never gets shook, but uh, definitely yeah. a lesser player would be right now. Yeah, but he still managed to nickel and dime some damage here and already has him past CC percent now, getting him to 40 here. One more hit could lead to a knockdown. Good drift to avoid the SD there. That <laughs> honestly kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ben playing this vertical game where they're just sort of on top of each other but with a side platform between them was uh, pretty clean. But Bobby's able to find the shield drop bear to close out that stock. Oh, the invincibility kill. Yeah. Full stock lead. <laughs> the the spawn drop through aerial getting the kill is always a classic in this one. <laughs> oh, the power shield grab at the point blank range. Really clean stuff from Ben. The, the point blank power shields are the ones that, that are the most scary for Falco as they can actually combo into a uh, you know, direct conversion, especially grab from Sheik and actually just lead to a kill sometimes. The town smash! Shout out to Peach. Oh, another random grab there. He's he's just winning out in these scrap positions, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't like it was set up or like he had a big oh! a, a ton of pressure. He just found it first. And he takes it all the way to a kill again. Three stocks to one. Ben yeah. looking dominant. Really clean execution to be able to punish the lead chop double lasers. Getting the Nair to shield between the two lasers is the correct choice, but it's actually just kind of hard to time a lot of times on reaction. But Ben showing that he has no trouble getting it, giving himself a huge lead. And while Bobby does answer back, it wasn't for free. Even 16% with a lead like this is kind of a big deal. It's just two aerials away here. And Ben finds one, he finds two, and now the four tilt leads to a knockdown, which could lead to the kill immediately. Man, Ben cashed in on that so fast, closing out this game on his counter pick, looking really strong on Battlefield. You talked about at the beginning of this game how Bobby often brute forces his way and just out punishes people. That game, Ben was so efficient with his kills that there's no way he can get out punished. Yeah. And he takes, what was that, a three stock because of it? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, so it's worth noting that, like, even there, the, that last punish was, like, basically a zero to death. Um, it's kind of like having to find those two aerials into the four tilt, into the miss tech, into the down smash, into the edge guard still can be kind of difficult. Um, I think mm -hmm. e that like definitely each step of that can go wrong. Uh, you can get CC down tilted on one of the aerials. Uh, you can miss the tech chase on the forward tilt, or you can miss the edge guard. So Ben closing out every single step of that is like really crucial for him to be able to keep up with that sort of punish game that Bobby has. Yeah, exactly. And it looked really clean from Ben as well. He mm -hmm. also was showing uh, that those... Uh... Those awkward scrap situations really felt like they were working out in his favor today, mm -hmm. uh, or at least in that game. Uh, and so I think Bobby's either going to have to find ways to avoid those situations or find answers to reversal them. Because uh, if you're losing scrap situations to Sheik, especially if you're getting grabbed, uh, mm -hmm. you're in a bit of trouble. Yep, yep. Yeah, I think the scrap situation... Oh, he just rock grabs, <laughs> drops down, and just immediately finds a grab. Only gets 11% for it. It's uh, been, been not the giga tech chase you from zero kind of sheet but still even 11 percent it's the same as an aerial right like any straight hit that doesn't get your reversal it's kind of a win so mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and here. again another grab that time uh he had put like a single needle or maybe like just a couple needles on the ground and it screwed with mm -hmm. uh bobby's l cancel timing and all of a sudden bobby's just dead for it yeah i always call those caltrops which is like those ninja tools mm -hmm. that they drop mm -hmm. on the ground where you step to mess up your feet so Cowboy Ooh. tools if you're a more cowboy tools if you're a Mortal Kombat fan. Oh, is it? I, I forget the cowboy's name. Aaron, but, yep. Aaron, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I'm... F tilt. And I think that F tilt's a really big deal because Bobby was finally uh, trying to play around the grab specifically, and he just eats the F tilt instead. So it just shows how aware Ben is in those situations. Yeah. And uh, Bobby willing to take huge risks to go for that edge guard there, and uh, it does pay off for him. Kind of dropped a, a Nesgar earlier, and then and then went for the big risk to get the the harder to get one. It felt like so. Oh my God! Good defense from Ben there to not allow that hit to turn into a conversion. 
the bear from Bobby actually kind of inspired. Mm -hmm. But doesn't matter. He ends up getting fared off stage. Three stocks to two. Yeah, she's like, that's not a fair. This is a fair. <laughs> Kills Let Bobby. me show you. <laughs> You saw there, Ben went for the uh, power shield grab again, but this time Bobby stayed out, tanks the, the lasers, it comes back, and still gets a really great mix up um, yep. on the ending lag of that grab. Yep. Yeah, unless you directly convert the power shield into the grab, it, it tends to be pretty hard to actually have any sort of frame advantage off of it. So good stuff mm -hmm. to Bobby for being able to act really fast out of power shielded lasers, because that's kind of like what negates a lot of the advantages that power shielding can give you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, falling and Zuppy just looks like he's playing like face roll right now. Like he's just so willing to play like good defensive option grab in just so many different situations. Mm -hmm. um, he's not getting that same level of punish game that someone like face roll would be expected to get. Mm -hmm. But um, just going for that situation over and over puts him in an advantage quite a yeah. few times. I feel like Ben right now, he, he's like basically matching like those top Sheik's punish games uh, when his combos start at 40. <laughs> so mm -hmm. the, the zero to 40, it, I mean, he's really good at it, but he's not getting like zero to 80 combos. He's getting zero to 40 and then 40 to death combos, right? Um, which is still really good, right? Like two hits is, is uh, or two openings is, is pretty good for that, so. Bobby gets a ton of damage out there and gets a, a couple different opportunities to go for the kill, uh, but he chooses different options to try to continue the combo. And uh, again, Ben weathers the storm, makes it out, finds the kill first. Two stocks to one. Yup. And we talked earlier about how Nair to Shield can sometimes feel a little underwhelming when it doesn't lead to big conversions. 140% you don't need a conversion. Nair to Shield just leads to a kill outright. So Bobby is able to answer back before taking any damage. So we have ourselves once again a last stock situation. We've had a ton of these all tournament sets. A lot of close matches between these players. Ooh, Bobby was so risky to go for the double jump dare after getting knocked off stage. If he got, if he ate a hit there, he would have just been dead. But it ends up paying off for him, and he gets a big combo for it. Good di away on the laser there by Ben to just avoid the instant kill hit. Oh, trade of that up air. That was actually so risky for both players. Gets Wave dash forward shine. Oh, that back air doesn't connect. Yeah, so close. A lot of close situations here in this last stock. Both of them are high enough percent now where straight aerials can lead to kills. Bobby gets back to center stage. Then Nair to shield. Hits a shield. Gets him punished for it. Bobby's able to find a back air. It does reverse. Oh my god! Does Bobby? he live this too? He does! A side beat back on stage. Everyone's everyone's fine. Just keep everyone's playing. Everyone's fine. Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing, nothing weird. Nothing oh! strange. Bobby steals the ledge at the last second. He waited so long to yeah. go there that it made Ben feel like he wasn't going to. It looked like she, like it looked to me very ambiguous whether she could be able to snap to the ledge on her way up with the up B and she barely wasn't. So she, I think like he, he kind of recognized the distance perfectly to kind of set up this ambiguous mix up and then waits long enough for her to have to poof to it. And then he gets the ledge first. So clean close out from Bobby. Terrifying game though. That was just so close, so hard fought that definitely, uh, <laughs> it's going to be hard fought all the way till the end, right? So, mm -hmm. Yeah, so Bobby does go up to one uh, here, but keep in mind that is considered like a pretty bad stage for Sheik. Um, uh, given the way this set is going, I would almost expect Sheik to be able to take game four on a tri-platform stage and then have to deal with FD for game five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Nair is... There? Yeah, the, the soft late Nair feeds into grab, which is really nice. We talked about how he has to be able to find openings off the nair, but a, a different approach to using yep. it gives him that opening. Hitting the nair on the way down instead of on the way up. Oh, great tech chase with the up air there into a tech chase with the back air. I like the little mix up there. He kind of falls off, doesn't grab the ledge, fast falls past it, allowing him to kind of do a little mix up and grab the ledge later. Ben doesn't get tricked up by it though. Great DI. Ooh, great DI actually. A lot of people just get four till four there. there. Bobby Big Ball is having the wherewithal to DI that away and side B to the ledge and survive that. That's a huge deal. He might be the one to take the stock first now. All off the back of the DI on the forward tilt. Great stuff from Bobby. Ooh, Zuppy's able to re return the favor right away, bringing it back to even. But you know he still feels like he got that kind of stolen away from him. Oh. Finds the grab, goes to the up smash, but the read isn't quite right. Bobby actually DI's far enough away that it's not a, an actual hit. Yep. Oh, finds the Nair that kind of pushes him off stage. Only finds a jab afterwards, though. Maybe he could have done, like, Nair down smash or something for something particularly brutal. But he's still kind of looking pretty good. Oh! <laughs> now, Falco's the one looking for backdoor gimps. 
Yeah, Ben, I, I feel like Ben never reaches as hard as he's reaching right now. That, mm -hmm. you know, deep dash attack all the way into the corner when Bobby yeah. clearly had plenty of time to shield. Um, I mean, it is still a mix-up. It's not like he's picking bad options, but I feel like they're not Ben options, and that makes <laughs> me concerned. Right. Kind of feeling the pressure a little bit here, both in-game uh, based on what options Bobby's picking and out-of-game based on where they are in the tournament right now. Um, I do think this is Ben's first winner's finals at this tournament, right? So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so two stocks apiece. Ben was able to bring it back to even. He finds the needles to both attack on damage and keep him safe from Bobby's in, 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 encroachment. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Bobby finds the shine. The up air puts both players in an awkward spot, but Bobby plays it out a little bit better. The roll Bobby. to avoid the grab, really clean. Yeah, good Omsa Tech too on the rising downer from, from the platform. Both these players, time and time again, showing a really good defense is going to be sometimes the difference maker because this match could be going really different. If either one of these players had worse defense, the other one's punish game would be looking twice as good, right? So. Oh, that needle was so clean, but then the fair, Bobby just with great timing on the side B to avoid mm -hmm. it. But Ben's able to find the closeout on the ensuing uh, ledge mix-up. Oh, Bobby and beating a... Credit. A beast stall and like sneaking to the ledge super fast. Ben actually accidentally tournament wintered and that kept him safe. So <laughs> okay, getting a ton of damage on this stock. Bobby fast falls, makes it back, but he can't get out of the corner. Oh, once again the side B, but this time he has no jump and Ben's able to close it out. So your read that Ben would take game four on a tri platform stage was correct. He looked very powerful here. Um, gonna be interesting now to see does Bobby go to FD or does he want to do Bobby things on Yoshi stories or something? So, uh, I apologize. Apparently, I've been saying Zuppy a bunch when I mean Ben. That's my bad. Ooh, devastating. Zuppy's just in chat, pissed at me. You hate to see it. Oh, well. <laughs> I think you just said it one time, to be honest. Uh, but... <laughs> he said I said it multiple times. Oh, nice. Oh, jeez. Devastating. All right. So, Ben. Gonna take it to a game five. This is kind of a tough counter pick for him, FD. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how Bobby takes Ooh. advantage of that. Oh, Bobby with the oh, air dodge to, the, yeah, the air dodge to avoid that uh, steal. Ben yep. getting to play it out. Ben finds a grab though, and this is at a percent where he can just go for a dash attack tech chase. And there's a the dash attack into the forward tilt, knocks him off stage. Good recovery from Bobby though, makes it back. That could have been really scary. Yeah, Ben's gone for these grounded uh, needles like three or four times uh, mm -hmm. on the edge guard, and Bobby's just finding that exact spacing to get under them and get to the ledge. So uh, the answer to that is go to go for the, the short hop needles that have the downward angle. Um, right. But so far, Ben hasn't hasn't really gone for that option. Yeah, the low side B definitely can be a pain to cover. It tends to require more of a commitment from your opponent. Mm -hmm. um, she can kind of do the short hop needle, but but sometimes just the act of short hopping makes it harder to cover other things since you're no longer standing and able to react to everything. So it's going to be interesting to see how that interaction keeps playing out. Ben's actually the first one to take the stock here. Uh, Bobby had a really strong start, failed to close out the stock, and then Ben took it all the way back. So Yeah, and I really feel like the story of this set ends up being these scrap situations. If Bobby can either avoid them or find ways to win them, he looks really, really strong. But as soon as Bo uh, Ben's able to find some of those grabs, oh. Bobby looks like he's in trouble. This time, Bobby's able to find a kind of random up smash. I mean, I guess it made sense given the situation, but it still looked pretty weird. Yeah, it was pretty insane. He did like an approaching laser, recognized that Cheek was above him, and then up smashed right away. Uh, so I think it was really good awareness and uh, uh, kind of realizing that even if it trades, this is going to be a really good trade for me. Uh, I ended up just winning outright, so... Good. Great CC Close on up. the getup attack to continue this combo. A quick 80%. Uh, Ben's feeling pretty good here. Yeah, great anti-air up air there. Kind of beating out Bobby's attempt to full hop out of the corner and approach there. And yeah, Ben's corner pressure looking really good on this stage. Just kind of what I was thinking with uh, it being traditionally a good Falco stage, but it doesn't necessarily play to Bobby's strengths, which is tends to be playing from center stage and escaping the corner by using platforms and stuff. So right yeah, now, no, I'll... Just... Ben's corner pressure just looks even better than it did on other stages. Yeah, and we talked earlier in the set about how great Bobby's defense has been, in particular finding DI away on some of these uh, combo hits. What we're seeing is that Ben is going for some of those combo hits, but then hard reading the DI away. Um, mm -hmm. And so he's able to find continuations on stuff that normally would, would sort of fall apart. So uh, really cool adaptation there by Ben. Bobby goes way down and <laughs> yeah, just gives just up dead. his stock. <laughs> oh! 